Despite strict laws against the use of cell phones while driving, people continue to drive distracted. Now a group has a new look at the numbers ranking the safest and most dangerous states for drivers. Fox 46's Brett Baldeck is live along 277 near Uptown with how the Carolinas rank. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Casey and Jason. So the Carolinas rank right in the middle, which means we are not the most dangerous when it comes to distracted driving, but also we're not the most safe. So the uh, experts say that in 2021, distracted driving continues to climb in all 50 states. Before getting in the car and behind the wheel, have you ever wondered how many distracted drivers you may encounter? At times, they can be easy to spot. You know, you pull up to a stoplight and you see, and they just constantly doing this. The biggest distracted driving offenders are those using cell phones. They're often oblivious to what's happening. When you're around Charlotte and the traffic's backed up already, and then somebody in front of you or three cars up in front of you, you sit there and see everybody go and there's a gap of about 400 feet. And you're sitting there waiting and you're like, yes, hurry up, get out of the way. Whistle Out, a company focused on helping people find cell phone plans, ranked all 50 states for distracted driving. Number 50, New Mexico, is listed in red for the most distracted drivers. Number one, Arkansas, is listed in blue for the least. North Carolina ranks right in the middle at number 23, while South Carolina came in at 34. As most of us have experienced, distracted driving can be wide ranging, reaching far beyond cell phone use. Even makeup, like my friend, literally, I was in the car with her and I just see her pull down her, um, her little mirror and she just starts doing her makeup and it's kind of distracting. Her response to her friend, a good reminder for all drivers. Drive safe, <laughs> stop texting and driving, stop doing your makeup. So you may be wondering how they ranked all 50 states. They took numbers from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, as well as a national survey of drivers about how many distracted drivers they've seen on the road. And the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that more than 3,100 drivers were killed in 2019 due to distracted driving. Casey and Jason, back to you. Brett, I'm curious, what kind of penalties could someone be facing if they are caught driving distracted? So here in the Carolinas, as well as all other of the 49 states besides North Carolina, it obviously varies from either points on your license to a hefty fine. But if it's proven that you've caused an accident because of distracted driving, you could also face jail time. But coming up, in our 8.30 half hour, we'll explain the current law here in North Carolina when it comes to cell phone use while driving and the changes that lawmakers in Raleigh are trying to make to that law. Back to you. All right, Brett, thanks for that report. We'll catch up with you next hour.